how are you doing today? I am Pam, and if this is the first time you're coming to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome to the Pam Fam, yes. Over here, we like to talk about bougie fragrances and bougie makeup, and a little bit of working out in between, some shopping, yes, but mostly we talk about bougie fragrances, yes. We run the gamut over here. We talk about niche fragrances, designer fragrances, as well as celebrity fragrances. The funny thing about that is that Hmm. We like it all at a discount. Yeah, yeah, yes we do. We like to get it on sale if we can help it. <laughs> well, my dears, you heard what I said. Welcome to the Pam Fam. And you know, I'm considering you family. I've adopted you and therefore, what we do over here, we hug. Yes, we do. So come on in. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on in. Yes, 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 yes. Nice hug. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's a new year, it's a new day, and I am blessing you, yes I am, I am. I'm blessing you with a hug, but not only that, I am manifesting great things in your life for the rest of 2021. Um, my life too. <laughs> okay guys, so thank you so very much for joining me. First of all, if this is your first time here, you pressed on that button, you stepped in on the door, I really appreciate you coming over, and I thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. So today's video is a collaboration with other YouTubers and content creators. It is about our ruthless fragrances. Yes, the ruthless, meaning ruthless, take no prisoner fragrances we've got in our collection. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't think I had that many. Yeah, I didn't think I had ruthless fragrances. You know, but turns out I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this collaboration was put together by Miss Ruth Gifted Hands, hence the term, the pun, Ruthless, <laughs> Ruthless fragrances. And so therefore, I'm going to be sharing with you the ones that I think in my collection are considered Ruthless, okay? So if you're interested in seeing what I've got to show you, please stay tuned. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you so very much for sticking around and not like disappearing and saying, you know, mm, yeah, I like her kind of sort of, you know, you stay, you stay because you are interested in seeing what I selected as my ruthless fragrances out of my collection. So the very first one we're going to talk about today is Poison Girl by Christian Dior. Guys, this is such a really interesting and I think comfortable and cute bottle i think that this bottle has all the other poisons i love the shape of the bottle it's nice and round it's like a little cherry or plum now this fragrance is a very sweet fragrance it's got sweet soft accords i just get sweet flirty floral basically a little bit of oriental in there i get that I'll be putting the notes up on the screen so that you can see for yourself if this is something that would be interesting to you if you don't already have it. Most would not consider Poison Girl by Dior a ruthless fragrance perhaps because it's very flirty and girly. But think about it, when we want something, right, or we want to put people in a really cheery or cute mood or flirtatious mood, what do we do? We smile, we're pleasant, that type of stuff. And that's kind of manipulative, in a way. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, I think it's a ruthless fragrance, so therefore it's my pick. One of my picks is Dior's Poison Girl. Now my next fragrance is also coming from the house of Dior, and this, my dear, is Dior Addict. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I think it's a great night fragrance, but I also think it's a very transferable or transient fragrance. You can wear this to work, you can wear it to a date, you can wear it out, you can wear it when you want to feel sexy, you can wear it when you want to feel bossy, you can wear it when you want to feel girly. This fragrance, it transcends. I absolutely adore this. It is such a sweet, fruity, floral, I would say a little bit oriental, a little bit of, uh, for lack of a better word, gourmand. A gourmand is, you know, it, go, it leans a little gourmand. Mmm. I love this fragrance. If you want a fragrance, a little bit gourmand, leans a little bit spicy, leans a little bit floral, leans a little bit oriental, perfectly blended, it's Dior Addict. Great, 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 ruthless fragrance. 
<laughs> My dears, we are now moving on to when I talk about big boy, big girls, ruthless. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Here we go. This is Mark Jacobs, Decadence. This bad boy has been around for quite a few years now, you know, and um, needs absolutely no explanation, zero. I love this fragrance. This one is not as strong as the original, original. I know this, I, I sense a smell, a lighterness of it, because the original one literally chokes me out after one spray. It is ruthless, it takes no prisoners. It says, Pam, you better put on your big girl undies. Because when you spray me, girl, hello, okay? We walking out this door, you're gonna be knocking people out, right, left, and center. This is close to it, but I really don't think Marc Jacobs Decadence is a fragrance that if you are in close quarters, if you work in an office near people within about a six foot radius, no ma'am, no sir, you do not need to be wearing this to work, okay? But if you're going out for drinks, definitely. If you're going out to, let's say, a concert, where you're gonna be dancing and you might be, you know, a little bit glistening, you know, from sweat and stuff. Yes, definitely. Marc Jacobs Decadence is one that you should, that plum note in here, divine. That plum note needs absolutely no explanation to no one, completely ruthless, yes. R to the U to the T to the H to the L to the E to the S to the S. That's what she is ruthless, taking absolutely no prisoners, okay? The notes again will be on the screen to see if it's something that you're interested in. But keep in mind, if you have an aversion to sweet or slightly cloying scents, if you have an aversion to plum, this may not be the one for you. This is a heavy hitter. This is my heavy hitter right here, right here. I want people to stand up and take notice. Marc Jacobs Decadence is a fragrance that I would definitely wear. We're almost there. Another heavy hitter right here. This, my dears, is by the brand Tiziana Terenzi. You don't want to play with her. Ruthless. When, she, when you put her on, you are in full beast mode. You are in full ruthless mode. What I said about Marc Jacobs Decadence, multiply that by maybe, oh, 10. Yeah, by 10, okay? This here, my dear, is Tiziana Terenzi's Spirito Fiorentino. Look at the gorgeousness of this bottle cap, guys. And my fingers right now is feeling like it's going through a weight training class because this bottle, my friends, this bottle is quite weighty. Ruthless meaning don't mess with me. You, you're gonna get a weapon. Heavy, heavy. Heavy. The bottle is also quite weighty. This here is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's got leather in it. It's got a lot of really intricate and unique ingredients. When you spray Tiziana Terenzi's Spirito Fiorentino on your body, my dears, all I can say to you is this. Get ready. Here she comes. Get ready. Yep because you can't announce yourself coming in. You're that ruthless. You spray this on and you walk past someone, they're gonna be like, whoop, whiplash. 100% whiplash, I promise you. Gorgeousness. Now, a lot of people said, oh, it mimics Baccarat Rouge, or it smells a little like Baccarat Rouge. In fact, I've even said that. But no, Baccarat Rouge and Baccarat Rouge Extreme version are the babies of this bad boy. Come here, lean in a little bit. I got a secret. I absolutely, I really think that Tiziana Terenzi created this first before MFK. <laughs> now go run, tell that. <laughs> yes, because this bad boy, when you spray her and she lays on your skin, the disbursement, let me show you. I don't want to waste her because, you know, I'm almost through. Uh, yeah, I'm almost through. She's feeling a little light, okay? Check this out. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, gorgeous, seductive is what Spirito Fiorentino is. The leather 
comes out and it is so raw and so tightly wounded up, you're kind of like, hmm, what is that am I smelling? What is that? And it's a beautiful unisex scent, gorgeous unisex scent. Men or women take no prisoners ruthless. You put this on, you will be noticed. Absolutely 100% certified. You will get notification. Well, no, they'll get notification that you're coming around the corner when you put this on, okay? And then after it sits into your skin, give it about hmm, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Absolute sweetness comes out, comes up from within, almost like a rebirth of the fragrance itself. It comes in. What can I say? I'm telling you right now, you have not smelled, mm, you have not smelled pure delicious leather like you will smell in this fragrance. Spirito Fiorentino is the absolute best leather fragrance that I have. I don't have a lot, but it's the best one I got in my collection, okay? And she is Ruthless with a capital R. As a matter of fact, just spell Ruthless with all caps. That's her. Spirito Fiorentino, one of my absolute favorites in my collection. She is a Ruthless Diva. Yes, that's what she is. So my dear, I saved the best for last. This is House of Sillage Pasha Milamour. Yes, just hear the name. Look at the gorgeousness. Encrusted with 158 Swarovski crystals and the top of the bottle. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. The cap, just like Spirito Fiorentino, remember I was talking about the weightiness of the cap? The House of Sillage's caps are gorgeous. Weighty and beautiful. Plated in gold. The name inscribed at the top, and then the name of the fragrance inscribed at the bottom. Hand cut crystal glass. The nozzle even that the fragrance is made out of is beautifully crafted as well. What I like about House of Siage fragrances too, is just the presentation. The smell is great. It is just great. This is a sex bomb. It's sexy, sexy, sexy bomb, ruthless. I said all caps for ruthless for another fragrance, but oh my. Oh my, my, my. Just put about three exclamation points at the end of that Ruthless for Passion de l'Amour. This is not even my favorite House of Siage, but I tell you what, if you want, if you want to be noticed, oh my God, I love this fragrance. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's got a little bit of nutmeg. I think it's got nutmeg in it, but it's it's got oud. It has that, it's a good, to me, it's a good introduction to oud. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. House of Siage, Pache de l'Amour is what a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. If you take a look at the screen, you will see the notes for Pache de l'Amour by the House of Siage. Guys, I absolutely love the House of Siage fragrances. There is no question about, hello, hello. Okay, <laughs> I love the House of Siage fragrances. I have all of the signature line, I just don't have one cupcake. This one, however, I am so glad to have in my collection. It is a complete, ruthless, sexy diva. It is also a fragrance that I think if you want to make a statement, any time of the day, any month of the year, Passion de l'Amour will be a perfect fit for you. If It is a fragrance that I think that because of the ingredients in it, because of the beautiful composition of this fragrance, it lasts long on your skin. And when it dries down, it transitions, all the other flavors come up. My guys, my gals, you can wear this fragrance with confidence. If you are a shy individual and you're looking for something to boost you, where you'd be a little more bolder, Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage will do that for you. If you are a bold woman or man already, Passion de l'Amour. I'm not telling no lies, I'm not. But consider getting Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage. I will not steer you wrong. It is a ruthless fragrance, but it's a ruthless fragrance worth having. So my dears, those are my selections for my Ruthless Fragrances in my collection. Again, I want to thank Ruth's Gifted Hands 
for coming up with this concept to do this collaboration. Thank you so very much for allowing me to chat with you a little bit about what I think are my ruthless fragrances in my collection. I really appreciate that you took time out of your busy schedule to hang out with me a little bit today. If you have any of these fragrances, please go ahead and let me know down in the comment section, or you can go ahead and also let me know in the community section or over on Instagram. I like chatting everywhere. Again, my name is Pam. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I want you to join the fam. We do lots of lives. I think you have an exciting time with it. Right about now, you should be seeing some end cards popping up around me or below. Please click on one of those. It'll take you directly to a playlist or to a specific video that myself or YouTube chose for you. The artwork you see is my daughter's. Please click on that and it will take you directly to my channel so you can subscribe. So click on one of these and I will see you in the next video. Bye!